Orlando was not in my plan when I woke up a few days ago in Washington DC. But it just so happened that I had to make a stop there before moving on to London. For over two hours, I tried every single airline that operated out of the Washington area. But there were no seats to Orlando. What's going on, I wondered, until my son reminded me that it's summer and everyone is headed to Walt Disney World, also known as Disney World. Aha! I had actually forgotten that Orlando is not one of those places you just wake up and go to without planning. Disney World in Orlando is the most visited vacation resort in the world with an average of 58 million visitors annually. And it all started with the dream of one man, Walt Disney. He conceptualized this project in the 60s and Magic Land, the first of many theme parks within the resort opened in 1971. What many people don't know is that Walt Disney died on December 15th, 1966, a few years after laying out his dream for this city. But his vision was so powerful that his older brother, Roy Disney, came out of retirement to ensure his brother's dream came to fruition. And today, tens of millions all over the world go there annually to enjoy the chills and spills of Walt Disney World. Talk about the power of a dream. You can also say the power to imagine. Look around you today and you'll see someone's dream made manifest. The Google hundreds of millions use is someone's dream. What of Facebook, WhatsApp, TikTok, Snapchat, electricity, the aeroplane, the smartphone, television, radio, the cars we drive. Everything you see around you started as someone's dream or vision. The fact that we can see it or use it means that their dreams have impacted our world. What are your dreams? How are you impacting your world? The people who created these wonderful and life-changing products and services don't have two heads. They never heard of Pastor Jerry and neither do they chant, what God cannot do does not exist. In fact, some of them are not known to be Christians, but they use the gifts that God gave to all men and they have affected our world. The power to dream. It all begins in the mind. What are you seeing? What are you hearing? What are you processing in your mind? Do you plan to live the rest of your life not fulfilling your God-given potential? Are you going to be like those who believe their mission on earth is to criticize the dreams of others? Or B, a stumbling block on the path of others towards fulfilling their visions? We all say Panadol and don't know the story behind Panadol. We drink Coca-Cola not understanding it was someone's dream. What is your dream? Do you believe it's too late to fulfill your dream? It's never too late. My people say the day you wake up from your slumber is your morning. Just wake up. Do you feel that you have limitations? Have you ever heard of W. Mitchell? He was 28 years old when he had a bike accident. The impact of the bike falling on him not only crushed his elbow and pelvis, but he also sustained third degree burns all over his body and lost most of each of his 10 fingers from the fire when the gas tank exploded. The doctors didn't think he would survive, but six months later, he had started walking again and was adjusting back to life. Guess what? Four years later, in November of 1975, he was involved in a plane crash. He had 12 fractured toric vertebrae and irreversible damage to his spine. He could no longer walk. Today, Mitchell is a motivational speaker who fascinates and amazes audiences with his story and encourages them to face challenges, embrace change, and take action in everything in life. His tenacity and perseverance are unmatched and everyone is impressed with how Mitchell demonstrates how unexpected changes can become new starting points. He said, and I quote, Before my accident, there were 10,000 things I could do. Now, I can spend the rest of my life mulling over the 1,000 things I can't do anymore. 
or I can choose to focus on the 9,000 I can still do. Amazing. Do you still think you have limitations? For a long time, I was working virtually with an architect from India. His work was so good that I invited him to Nigeria to give him more work. But when I saw him, I was shocked to discover he was disabled in one leg. He told me that he has built over 300 houses and visits different construction sites every day to bring his designs to reality. You are your only limitation to your dream. Every dream is like a pregnancy. Embrace it with the same joy pregnant women all over the world embrace their nine months of pregnancy with joy and expectancy. They don't see the labor. They only care about the fruit of the labor. They only care about what impact that fruit will have on the world. You are that fruit. I wish you knew how your mother traveled in labor because she believed you would bet your own fruit. What are you doing with your own pregnancy? What are you doing with the talent God has given to you? There's a Google on your inside. There's a Coca-Cola in your mind. If 58 million people can go to the city of Orlando because of one man's dream, how many people are coming to your house because of your dream? How many people are coming to your office because of your vision? Global spending on food imports will rise to 1.9 trillion this year. And yet farmers in Nigeria are some of the poorest people in the world. The power of imagination. Open your eyes. The world is a blank canvas. Your mind is your brush. Start drawing. Start dreaming. Start creating. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. Let there be light is the first biblical record of God's spoken word. The book of Genesis speaks of God's vision and creativity. It is the template for us to use as we dream and envision. God saw there was a need for light. He imagined how the light would impact on the darkness and illuminate his wonderful creation. And he decreed, let there be light. This same God created you in his image and likeness. He sent spirit that moved upon the face of the waters, dwells on your inside. The same mind he has is the same mind he gave us. The same mouth he used to decree is the same mouth he gave to us. He then went further and gave us dominion and authority so that we can imagine and create. But instead, instead of using your imagination to create the next big thing, you are there imagining witches and wizards. You are there complaining about stepmother, father, in-law, spouse, friends, colleagues. All you see is negativity. All you see is your limitations. Wake up. Wake up and realize that your limitations are the pains of your pregnancy. Focus on the fruit of your labor. Focus on your dreams. Empower your mind. Activate your vision. Open your mouth and declare. Let there be light. Declare your dreams. Run with your vision. Impact your world. God bless you all.